Happy Hour. And now for something completely different. Hey, Daddy. <laughs> How are you, Daddy? I'm wonderful. How are you? Oh, you're not going to play the bit? Nope. Okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. For people that don't know, this is Jamichael from Party Bitch, and uh, he's on Happy Hour, and whenever we're at Kava Bars, it's hilarious. I love creeping everybody up. Jamichael is a gay man. I am a heterosexual, but I love going up and going, hey, Daddy. Everybody calls me Daddy. Where did that come from? You know, it actually used to be Chef. Yeah. So everyone be saying, hey, chef, yes, chef, you know, because I'm usually the chef. That's the highest level of, you know, the food chain. Would you say you're a good chef? Absolutely. What do you cook, daddy? Ooh, I love when you call me that. Um, I, I that day. <laughs> usually Italian or um, French cuisine. Have you ever been a chef, like, for a job? Mm -hmm. Three times. How did that go? It went very well. We sold the restaurants for a lot of money. You're very dressed up right now. You're wearing a black shirt. Man, usually you can either dress up very casual or you dress up very like professional. I never know what <laughs> Jermichael I'm going to get. Well, you know, there's so many shades of me. It's yeah, like 50 shades of Jay. So, Jermichael, what the hell do you do? Oh, what don't I do? Uh, I guess what people would say is I'm a uh, small business development manager yeah <laughs> i guess that's the best way to put it how um, does that go well uh what i do is i go to small businesses and find ways to bring out their brand yeah and make it flourish whether that be with events or promotions social media marketing tactics everything how long have you been doing it oh uh, about six years yeah. how um how old are you I'm 32. I'm 30. Welcome to the Dirty 30. Oh, it's so dirty. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. How does it feel to be in your 30s? I can't believe it. I see all all the Gen Z babies, and I'm like, that used to be me in the 2010s. I know. They're so little. They're so whittling. And they're cute. so pretentious and entitled. I know. And they all want to date me. Nobody oh in God. their 30s wants to date, but everybody under is trying to get a piece, and everybody older is trying to get a piece. Has there ever been a girl that didn't know you were gay that was into you? <clears throat> or Too many. Pretty, <laughs> or, really? Well, I mean, I am what they consider a pansexual. Oh, so you, you like girls as well? Uh, yeah, I, I like Hell personalities. Yeah, give me a high five! <laughs> yeah, I, I date, you know, based off personality for the most part. Now, are you on dating apps? I am. I just joined a new one. Which one? It's called Archer. That's a good show on FX. Oh, my gosh. No, no. It's called Archer. It's a dating app. I know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, what's, what's the difference between Archer, Bumble, and Tinder, and Hinge? Mm. Well, my favorite is Bumble yeah. because, you know, I get more professional people. But Archer, I've noticed, they're trying to do like a social media environment thing. Ugh. And I'm like, uh, I don't need another social media profile. Yeah. You know, like, I don't want to do that. But, you know, they seem to be brought in some cuties. I'm retired from it. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> no more? I'm strictly heterosexual. I'm not into guys at all. But I'm telling you, I uh, just, women are annoying. Oh, my God. I'll say it. Oh, no. I mean, uh, every every girl is different. There's some good ones are out they, there. Are, are they? There's some good ones out there. Where? Mm. Where have you seen it? They're at the bridal shop. That's a good... That or, <laughs> or like uh, Target. Target. You, I went to Target. Um, we're here at the chill room of Pinellas Park, and Frank's like, I'll get you a free drink if you go to Target and give me toilet paper. No. So I went to Target and I saw so many baddies there. I was like, oh my God. You find you a bad bitch in Target, all right. Hell yeah. Oh, shit. On point. You know what the problem though with Target is? And I'm saying this very lightly. I don't know what their age is. Some of these babies that are born in 09, I'm like, what's your age? <laughs> you almost have to ask for an ID. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, it's uh, scary. They'll lie too. I went to a Drake concert and I was in a suite <laughs> and there was this girl and she was talking to me. And I was like, oh, yeah, I've been listening to Drake since 2009 when Best I Ever Had came out. And she goes, 
oh my god, that was the year I was born. No, and I ran so fast. You, there's that running sound effect from like Looney Tune. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> oh my gosh! And Kendrick Lamar's like, it's a minor. <laughs> Dude, that Kendrick Lamar diss track is maybe the best thing I've ever heard. I think it is. It made me like Kendrick Lamar a yeah. little. Do you like Drake? You know, I'm used to listening to Drake. That's it. I'm comfortable with listening to him, but I don't like him as a person. No. Marvin's Room slaps for karaoke, though. What songs during karaoke from Drake are the most popular? Um, uh, One Dance, Marvin's Room. Uh, what's that? Uh, I don't know how to talk to you. I don't know how. I don't know what that yeah, one is. I know, but that one too. The best Drake song is "Take Care." That Ooh. that drop with him and Rihanna with that beat uh, it takes me back. To Anything he does with Rihanna is a smash. Like, why, he should just only work with Rihanna, and that that'll save his career. I heard that she's making new music soon. She better her and pregnant ass. In 2005, I was 12, and that was when I realized I liked girls, and that was a good year for music. That was Mariah, Mariah Carey, We Belong Together, mm-hmm. Shakira, Hips Don't Lie, mm-hmm. and then uh, Rihanna, uh, Ponda Replay, her Ooh. music video. Daddy, I went, I love women. <laughs> I had Rihanna's CD, and I would just look at her, not even doing anything dirty. That wasn't until sixth grade. But in fifth grade, I just was looking at her, and I was like, I love you. Explore this situation. And that's when I went and got the milk. I'm so jealous of ASAP Rocky. That should be me. That should be me. You going to sing the Justin Bieber song? Which one? That should be me. No, I haven't seen it. I like Bieber. I was supposed to see Bieber in concert two years ago, but my ex was like, it's too loud in here. I want to go home. And I missed out on free tickets. No, it's the Bieber fever. It's always loud. Yeah. Well, I wish her the best, but she's not ready for Bieber, apparently. No. Now, how many relationships have you been in in your life, Jermichael? In my life? God. Well, I'm very serious about relationships, you yeah. know? So I, I don't take them lightly. No, you don't. Uh, I would say probably total actual relationships, seven. How many of them were girls and guys? Uh, I would say four of them were girls and three of them were guys. Wow. Uh-huh. Yeah. What's it like having Jermichael as a boyfriend? Uh, well, I told, I've been told that I am, you know, the dream. I'm, I'm the one. I'm the husband material. If that's the case, why are you single? Because I keep dumping these bitches. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, ain't, they be cheating. They be lying. They be controlling. Only do, thing I ask for is honesty. Do you block when you're done? I don't, because I want them to see me flourish. Oh, I block, because I want them to know that they don't matter. You see, look, the best way, like, Beyonce said it the best. What did she say? Best revenge is your paper. So I need them to see me making my money, growing, being successful, dating much better people than them. I need them to see it. It's all on the stage. If they need to see me, they can make a burner account. No! (laughs) I just feel like if I ever feel like I need to impress an ex, that it's nauseating. Like it's bad energy when you're like, "I'll show you," no. even though she's busy going down on some other guy at that moment. I've always said that, dude. I'm I have told this to so many people. I said this to this girl on this radio show I worked on maybe five years ago, and she got all offended. She was freaking. She was this beautiful black girl, mm-hmm. beautiful. Like you would even be into her. Yes, you. Girl. You would be like my pansexual self is really into girls right now. She was beautiful. The problem though was there was an ex she wasn't over, and this mm. ex was dating other girls. And I said to her on the radio, while you're laying in bed missing him and even talking about him right now on the radio, he's banging some other girl and is glad it's not you. That's so sad, but true. And she got mad, and I got in trouble. I go, it's true. It's the truth hurts. I mean, shoot. I'd rather know the truth. I don't want to know. <laughs> Not with them. It's, I'd rather stop doing the actions, though. I have to block, though, because I'm like, I wish you the best, but the thought of you hanging out with another penis kind of creeps me out a little bit. You don't like that? You know, into the cuckold effect? Nah. I'm not Bubba the Love Sponge. <laughs> Jermichael, I'm dead. 
Tell me about Party Bitch Entertainment. So is it Party Bitch? Because there's an X. Yeah, so it's Party Bitch. We put the X because uh, a lot of social media can be finicky. So like, if I put a curse word in there, they freak out. But the X has saved the company from being ripped off the internet. So I just implemented it right away. Whenever you send an email mm -hmm. to somebody and you're like, hey, I'm looking for a job, do you say Party BX? Mm -mm, it's Party Bitch. We say it, we just don't show it. Hell yeah. <laughs> Where'd the name come from? That's actually funny. Um, my company used to be formerly named Soul City. Yeah, so we're Soul City. And then one night, I was like, gosh, I just want something that's more me. Yeah. And, party you know, yeah, I'm like, you know, I'm that bitch. And then my friend Jackie, she was like, you're the party. And I was like, yeah, I'm the party bitch. And I was like, Oh, we bring the party bitch. We the party bitches. So that's that's where it came from. I just went on with it. Five, four, three, two, one. We have been doing this show for 11 minutes and 11 seconds. Make a wish, Jermichael. I wish to go to Spain. You wish for what? Go to Spain. Really? I love it. I want to go to uh, Sydney, and I want to go to New Zealand. Ooh. It's going to be a long flight. Yeah, I don't think I'm prepared for a long flight. But I'll watch a bunch of Netflix. <laughs> you know, you get Netflix and chill on the plane. I'm Might going, be the one. I'm going with my mom. <laughs> don't do that. <clears throat> <clears throat> we're not in Alabama. <laughs> no, we're not. No, we are not. Absolutely not. What's your relationship like with your parents? Oh, well, um, my dad has passed away. I'm, me it's too. been two years, you know. Ten years mm -hmm. for me. Okay, so you understand. And my mom is, I guess, most would say my best friend. Me too. Yeah. Calls me out on my bullshit. Every single time. I'm like, you don't know my life. When's your birthday? February 15, baby. What's your sign? I'm an Aquarius. I'm a Virgo. I'm September 3rd. I don't know what any of it means, but <laughs> I'm a Virgo. I'm emotional. You know, at least you're aware. Mm. That's the scary thing about emotion. If you're not aware, you think you get dangerous. What is the sign that you are? What's the traits of it? Do you so, and, and do you believe in that nonsense? Um, I mean... There's something to some of it, but <clears throat> I hate when a girl goes... Oh my god. I don't think we can date because I am a cancer and you're a Virgo. Like that nonsense. It's like you need to grow up. Yeah. <laughs> At that point. I mean, there's certain things that most of the signs share yeah. as traits, but they, they're not like glue, you know? Like people's age and maturity matter as well. I think Mercury in retrograde is the dumbest thing ever. I've, I hate hearing that. I believed it for a second and then I watched Neil deGrasse Tyson's video and he said that humans are such narcissists that we think it involves us but it has nothing to do with us. Because like Let's say Wi-Fi goes down at work. The 24-year-old that was born in the year 2000 will be like, Mercury and retrograde. <laughs> I call it Mercury and Gatorade. It's my no. Name. That's, that's what I call Gatorade it. Gatorade is royalty. Don't put Gatorade no, in that Powerade's shit. Powerade's better. What? Yeah. What? I want to taste the sodium. What are you, Lil John? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love 2000s rap, by the way. Like oh my, my gosh. Thing. It's my whole vibe. It's All one of our bingos, or one of our favorite bingo games to play. 2000s hip hop. In the 2000s, I hated my life because I was bullied and I just hated going to school. But man, I never thought I would miss the 2000s. You know, after you see this, yay. <laughs> you definitely will miss the 2000s if you were in it. <laughs> you want to hear something crazy? What's up? I got a vasectomy two years ago. Nuh uh. I can't have kids. Why? Wait, wait. I don't you want to be them? a daddy. I'll be your daddy <laughs> oh, all day. Oh, God. What? You really don't want kids? Nah. Damn. I expect to Here's, see some hoppies. Nope. Here's what happened. I went through two two pregnancy scares. My ex fiance seven years ago was always trying to get pregnant. I was mm. I got engaged to 23. She dumped me June 2018, so about six years ago this time. Actually, I think today is the anniversary. Yeah, it is. Wow. It Dang. Is. Six months later, she was pregnant to a black guy. What? <laughs> like the fertility of the black man. <laughs> and then she got married and had kids. I wish her the best. And then the last one, I, kn I always pull out. I'm the pull out king. But uh, the last one got COVID in like May 2022. And her uh, 
uh, period was late. No. And both times, um, I thought both of my exes were pregnant. I thought my life was coming to an end. So then in June 2022, about two years ago this time, they overturned the abortion ruling. And I was living with my ex at the time. And I went into the living room and I went, I'm getting a vasectomy. If I'm meant to have kids, I can get it reversed. But it's been the best feeling ever. I bet. I mean. The best feeling. Like, no more pullout king. They were up. The, my favorite You're park, park in king. Hell yeah. My favorite <laughs> thing to tell people is I was all numbed up on drugs and I took some edibles and smoked and whatever before the <laughs> operation. I'm on all this pain meds and edibles and that. The best part, daddy, is they're playing down there and doing their thing and we're talking about our favorite Madden video games. I'm like, I like the one with Michael Vick on the cover as they're playing with my balls. No. <laughs> that's, that sounds like my worst nightmare. And then for a whole week, I couldn't do any completion. No. And this was at the end of my breakup, at the end of the relationship, so I was not getting laid anyway. No, it's a, a bad rough time, time for Ryan Hoppy. Yeah. But oh. Then I've been on a spree ever since that breakup, and oh my god, Daddy, I'm slowing down a little bit. I was a dog, <laughs> rough, <No>. rough. <laughs> He rose like the phoenix. I'm retired from dating apps. I can't do it. No, nah, I don't blame you. It's a lot of work for no reason. It's weird. Girls are just so wishy-washy. Say that again. Especially if they're, and this is not being racist, especially if they're Latina. Ooh. Latina girls. That's dangerous. Latina girls. Especially Puerto Rican girls. When when they are loyal to you and everything's good in a relationship, they are your ride or die, daddy. But once you're dead to them, they turn into sociopaths and they get everybody to turn against you until everybody realizes that it was just a breakup. But they are gentlemen out there, especially a Puerto Rican girl with daddy issues. Bro. Doesn't matter how good the sex is. How I've always said this to people, and I, I learned this. I don't know how this would go with dating a guy if you're a guy, or dating a girl if you're a girl. But for a heterosexual man, you got to see and you got to really pay attention to how the girl talks about a her father and b her exes. If she couldn't go a month without being single and went boyfriend to boyfriend to boyfriend, and it all ended in the same way. That's how it's going to end for you. Yep. <laughs> no difference. <laughs> Jamichael, do you want to get married someday? <sighs> I don't. I, I don't. I'm not going to say I don't believe in marriage. I don't. But. What? But. What? When it's real, it's real. Yeah. Yeah. Would you ever I ain't a, looking for it. You should do a thruple. A thruple? <laughs> Gosh, I've seen how that goes. I'm not getting involved in that. I know. I've overheard some girls here at the Kava Bars talk about it, and I go, no, thank you. Mm -mm, no mas. <laughs> Keep that. It is so weird how common cheating is now. It's and like if you ain't cheating, you ain't in a relationship. I know. I've never cheated. Can't do it. I literally dunked my last ex because we quit having sex, and I was like, I need to get laid. I need to get my rocks off. No. <laughs> it's terrible. But, I mean, I guess you got to do what you got to do. Yeah. I'd rather you break up with them than cheating. Cheat. Cheating is just nasty. The weirdest part is when you work with people that cheat, and then you have to, like, people ask about it, and they see them talking to other girls, and you're, like, um, you're at an event, and you're, like, does this person cheat on their life? And I'm, like, what do you want me to say? What am I supposed to say? <laughs> I really don't know. Like, I'd just be looking crazy. I'd be, like, mm -hmm. uh, don't ask, don't tell. That's what every boomer said 20 30, 20, 30 years ago. Don't ask, don't tell. That's why they got all these damn kids. Yeah. Boomers are the worst. <laughs> don't talk about Frank like that. Frank's Gen X. True. Damn. I'm talking about your typical 1950 born person that had it all in the 80s, that ruined everything and left <laughs> us to be screwed forever. F off. No. Poor boomers. I'll say it for you. Say it for me, please. They are the most entitled, rude, unempathetic, sociopathic generation. They had everything. There was a boomer that comes here all the time, and he goes, we had everything. 
<laughs> and we ruined it for you guys. <laughs> and I'm like, you're going to be dead in 10 years. No, <laughs> gosh, no. You know, I guess that is a way of looking at it, though. It sucks, though, because as much as I despise boomers, like my uncle, my uncle just died, and I'm like, <sighs> my mom's the last parent I have around, and I'm like, as much as I despise everything about that generation between 1946 to 1966, I don't want my mom to die. So it's like, you don't want the boomers to completely go away. You just want them to, like, quit being douchebags. Yeah, a little yeah. consideration. Yeah, you know, maybe yeah. you ruined everything. High five! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'll tell you the worst is, what? um, like when, like, you know, like somebody in their like seventies or eighties, they're mm. like always trying to talk to you while you're working. Yeah. And it's like, you had a chance to work and now I'm trying to and you're interrupting me. Why do you have two jobs? Yeah. It's like, why do I want to live? Cause, <laughs> Cause you ruined the economy. Yeah. It's a cringe fest now. It's terrible. What's your definition of cringe? Mm. Mine's TikTok. I got rid of my TikTok. Oh, TikTok's a lot. TikTok sucks. Oh, it's great for advertising. Yeah, isn't? Yeah. Not really. No. It shadow bans it. Oh, that's not cool. Instagram and Facebook's the way to go for promotion. Interesting. Twitter's okay if you have a following. Mm, but Elon it's Musk's too a loser. Political. Yeah. I worked at a conservative company and oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Never again. Nope. We used to say prayers before eating donuts. What? I'm like, praise Jesus, I guess. Can I eat this fucking donut? Please. That sounds terrible. You should go work there. Never. <laughs> Never. It's not happening. There's so many other things I could do. What do you, what do, you do? I mean, you I do save businesses. That's what I do. I, You're I, a savior, daddy. Yeah. You, you know? do it all. Yeah, they say their prayers, and I come, and I answer them. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Jermichael, what is your biggest goal in life? What the hell do you want to accomplish? You know, I just want to finally get Party Bitch to its roots over in Europe. Europe? Yeah. What are you going to do in Europe? You know, we're going to do events over there. We're going to have a good time. We're going to bring Party Bitch to Europe. You're going to do that. Mm -hmm. You and the NFL. You're going to be over there with the NFL. You know, as long as Taylor Swift is there. What part of... Ugh, you like her? <laughs> I don't necessarily like Taylor she's Swift. She's the worst. But I don't, she's free advertising. I don't find her attractive at all. <gasps> Not T-Swizzle. Zero out of ten. Did you see the Taylor Swift rap video? No, I'm good. Yeah, exactly. I did, so... That's how I feel. How long until her and Travis break up and then she does a, mu a music video with uh, face paint on and a football? I will. She's on the other no. side of the planet all the time. <laughs> you don't think he's banging uh, NFL side chicks? He's been totally loyal just going on porn up. Get the hell out of here. It's crazy. It's nauseating. I can't be football players uh, or Taylor Swift's. God, I can't it's imagine too much. you... I wonder how many people in the uh, NFL like men. It's growing. You know that Harrison Bucker guy that did that uh, speech about how women should just be at home and everybody got offended about it? <laughs> He's definitely, you know, into men. Whenever, uh, you're, so, whenever you're so anti-gay people in that, just admit that you like penis. It it's really okay. is. It's usually what the problem is. I mean, just admit that you like that stuff. It's it's, it's really not a big deal anymore. I mean, it's twenty twenty four. Yeah. Like, what what are we, what are we gonna do? <laughs> we gonna stop watching football? What do you think about the conservative the conservatives that say that gay people will burn in hell and that you're mentally oh, ill? Yeah, I'd say they should read the Bible again. <laughs> you mean that fictional book? Yeah. When you know. see the Bible on Wikipedia, it says also known as harry potter and lord of the rings it's fiction you know yeah a book that's been rewritten for 20 for 2024 years is totally reliable over science right got it <laughs> i don't believe in god it sucks my my whole family does i'm the black sheep hey at least you're black <laughs> <laughs> You're a funny cat. I, I try. I try to just Look lighten so the mood. Look so groomed today and well-dressed. Proud of you. 
And Proud still put on some six inch heels and do a nasty dance. So we've been doing this for. Can you believe it's been 14 minutes since I did the 11 11 countdown? What? No. Like, we can't end the show without us talking to each other like that. Hey, Daddy. What's up, baby? How you doing? I'm doing great. What do you got going on tonight? You at the chill room? Yeah, I'm at the chill room. Are about to put some bingo on. What's the bingo going to be like? Is it going to get down? It's going to get down. It's going to get dirty. People might fight, but it's okay. Everybody's going to win. Please do 2000s music and play Sweet Escape by Gwen Stefani. You already know we're about to do that. Happy hour. Happy hour. RyanHoppyRadio.com. And like that.